I want three things. Three things that I don't like about Elden Ring. The map maybe is like a little big. Some of the bosses are very much reused. And the dragon is freaking... It's just... There's so many dragons, man. That being said, I am going to fight him again. Dragon? Dragon? Three fifty. I'll take that. Seven oh two. Now we're talking. I mean, I just can't see. Like I'm having to echo locate. Here we go. Don't don't leave. I just found you, man. There you go. Faster damage output means less dodge is required later. Great work. Look at this, dude. If we stagger him, then you can pizza cut him. You know what the what the world has in store for those who get pizza cut. Beautiful. Absolute majestic performance thus far. Keep some green available for the future. Nothing wrong with this. Forget using your heavy attack. There you go. We bled him. And bleeding hurts so much more when you're cold. If you stub your toe, like, in the snow, go directly to the morgue. No, not. Frostbite. Frostbite. Cool mechanic. Press F for frostbite. Horse is not bait. This is like every time. You can do it on foot. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure that like, you know, for some builds it's probably easier. This is like the 70th dragon we fought. We got him 90% of the way down. You got nothing to worry about here. It just takes time. Bigger problem is not being able to see anything. I get off horse to DPS and then get back on to dodge the breath attack. I mean, honestly, some people that play this game are just built different. I'm not, I'm not playing the game, you know, hitless with my feet yet. I mean, like, I, I'm not saying that's like the wrong strategy. I'm just saying that's like a little. It's a little advanced, I think, for, for my level of acumen at the moment. Horse, you're still chilling. Don't even worry about it. I'll use it. Bro, just go down, okay? I'll get you out of the gulag. Owns. No sweat. Classic Hob reference. I mean, you gotta put some respect on Hob. Repetitive stress injury in his hands. A lot of people would be like, that's the end of my soul's career. Hob, better start learning how to use my feet. That's inspiring. I'm not being facetious. It's actually, it's kind of like it's mind-boggling. Does he have a foot cam? 
Asking for a friend? My friend is Miyazaki. I'm alive. No breath, please. No breath. We want to see no breath. Some breath. I don't think my green should go down when I make my horse go fast. I think that's my horse's problem. Like, I have an ins I have an insane VO2 max. If my horse hasn't been doing their cardio, if they haven't been doing their hit and hills rides, since when is that my problem? What's your VO2 max? I don't know, what's the highest ever recorded? Because I would say it's lower than that, but like above zero for sure. Dragon? Any dragons in the chat? Any dragons in the game? That's a question I don't need to answer. What are you doing? Bro, I can't see. I can't see what you're doing. All of your amazing animation is falling to the wayside because it's so foggy. Tail whip? That's not a tail whip. What are you doing? You're coming down with your feet? His name is the Freezing Fog. You know what? When you put it that way, it's hard for me to be mad. Goodbye. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. This is probably actually the worst boss in the game so far. Radon is also, like, kind of annoying, for sure. I think Radon's off the hook. <laughs> this dragon is, like, is way more annoying. Have you fought insert super secret end boss name here? Uh, no, I haven't. I'm still working on that one. Okay, there you are. Radon, it's the run up. This it's the it's the frost breath. And I this is coming from someone who has leveled up their HP bar. So I don't know what the average host is going to do in this section. Don't tell me to put on a fur raiment. First off, we already talked about Brad Garrett. Secondly, this isn't Monster Hunter. I'm not going to drink an Earl Grey tea before I go into battle for 10% frost resistance. I'm not going to take paintballs so that we can track him when he flies off the screen. I'm not going to act like my game is in the same category of game as Elden Ring just because they both have large monsters. You want to talk about reused bosses. Okay, hold on. I don't want to make the Monster Hunter community mad. There are dozens of them. 
That's the thing. It's a community you don't want to anger because even though it might be not the biggest community, the people who are into it, they're not afraid to spend 170 hours grinding negative feelings out of you. Get me out, get me out, get me out. No frostbite, please. Get me out. Excuse me, I have achieved G rank at cyberbullying. Get me out, get me out. I'd like to get out. I'm dead. I'm dead. He just shouted. He just shouted at me. <clears throat> just like Skyrim. I know G rank. You think I don't know Monster Hunter? People just think I'm, I don't know Monster Hunter because I've only played like, uh, I don't know, like 400 hours of the series total. People are like, that's cute. When are you going to get out of the tutorial? I don't know. Maybe when my kid goes to college. Maybe when I stop doing the dishes in my house. Maybe when I take a sabbatical for my job. Where the hell is my dragon? Where the hell is my dragon? It's 8 p.m. This is the adult tour. It means we can breathe whatever the hell we want. <laughs> All right, that combination UX bad brain there. Let's do it again. I got nothing, to, I got no quarrel with Monster Hunter, okay? Everybody loves the joke until they're the butt of the joke. Green management. There you go. Nice little green burst. By the way, which one of you said two-hand the weapon before you get on the horse? It does plus 50% damage. I blame myself for believing you. But uh, I feel like 351 to 351 is definitely more like a 0% increase. It's real. It's too... I've, I've, I'm two-handed right now. I've two-handed the weapon. It used to. Oh, here we go. Harry Potter Minecraft all over again. Worth, worth. It increases your strength by 50%, not your damage. Okay. It's, I mean, it's still helpful. But my pizza cutter, I think it, it only scales at like a C, so we're not getting much out of that. It's good to know, though. Oh, but then if your strength goes above 50, it's negligible because of the soft cap. I didn't consider the soft cap on that one. Do dragons have moms? Do you know who George R. R. Martin is? Because if not, it might surprise you to find out there is a character on his, uh, a show adapted from his novels that is called The Mother of Dragons. Translated in, uh, in Spanish as La Milf de Draguga. No, no, no! Don't shout at me. Minus two, minus two, minus two. <laughs> I love it. Oh, man. Those, those are funny looking pluses. Okay, green management at an all time low. Run. No, no, no. Okay, we it's it's fine, it's fine, it's actually fine. 
That's not fine. Get on the horse. Yes. I'm still pogged. Oh my god. That's fine. I only wanted to hit once anyway. Breath, just run. Any breath, you just run. Further away than that. I feel like I flask here. Let's, even though we're so close to max HP, let's lower our one tap range when we're so close. Oh! Zero damage. What is this? Breath? Ride tangent to the curve. Four more hits. Get out of there. That's that's definitely breath. Two more hits. One more hit. No greed. We avoid breath. Saved. Okay. I'm insanely pleased that that's over. That basically sucked. A new Draconic Power is available. If you say so. Now, take me back to the freezing lake. Free murder. Free murder. Should stop saying that. I don't know what he was accused of. <laughs> Murder, right? It was Schmurda? Oh, okay. Yeah, it was murder. But like he was like people want him to be freed because he's just like they want him to be freed because he didn't do it, or they want him to be freed because they like his music. Ooh. Wow, that is a loud knock. It's a delivery person with a Bluetooth headphone. Or a Bluetooth uh, earbud in. I don't have any Stone Zord keys, by the way. Just in case you were curious. Uh, church? Uh, tower? That's the Stanley Cup. It is actually the trophy you get when you win the NHL championship. I'm not just Canadian. That shit looks like the Stanley Cup. Like, it, it has the same kind of, like, tiered structure, and it has a big bowl on top of it. Ah, precious item. Somber stone bell bearing. What, Lord, the first church of Marika? And the sacred tier. Let's go. Somebody call Vaddy? Mark Messier, betrayer of the Pacific Northwest? You think that's the boss up there? Hello. Oh, you need me to help carry that in? Yeah. Okay, I can do that. One moment, please. How did you know?
I still did not pee. I was just helping lift a large box of baby food. I'm coming for you, Messier! You think I forgot that you made them strip Trevor Linden of the captaincy? And forced them to unretire the number of Wayne Mackey who died while he was a, a Canucks active player? And then forced them to hire Mike Keenan? He cyberbullied the whole team so they all wanted trades and to join free agency? Hold on one second. I'm on top of my headphone cord. Going on. Deep lore unlocked. Mark Messier, if, if you're not familiar, maybe you don't care about hockey to begin with, but if you're if you care about hockey but you did not know, um, Mark Messier is by far the most hated player in um, in Vancouver sports. Lifetime. And it's hilarious because also help. The, the award for leadership in the NHL is called the Marc Messier Leadership Award. I'm not even taking a side, but like the reason that people uh, dislike him when he came to Vancouver is because he was like the worst leader of all time. Immediately demanded the captaincy despite being brand new on the team. Um, took a, a number that had been symbolically retired because a player died while wearing that number. And he was like, nah, man, I'm number 11 no matter what. Uh, basically was the general manager at the same time that he was a player. Uh, and the team sucked ass with him. Pretty bad. Why did they let him? Because he was Marc Messier. He won a thousand Stanley Cups because he was uh, friends with Wayne Gretzky. Minor Erdtree. No, it's not an ironically named award. Like, I mean, he is proud. If you were doing like a list of the best NHL captains of all time, it wouldn't surprise me if the media ranked him at number one. Um, but he fucked over the Canucks pretty bad. But it's just sports. It's mostly just funny. Explosive Greek bowl. Is that the church? Am I just going back to the church? No, I'm going to the spirit caller's cave. Steve Iserman all the way. Iserman is so funny to me as a general manager. Not even in a bad way. Obviously, he did great stuff for the Lightning. But didn't he just put, like... Danny DeKaiser on waivers on his birthday. That shit is hilarious. Like they couldn't even wait one day. Help, 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 help me, help me. Like you couldn't have just waited till Thursday to put him on waivers. You fired him on his birthday. I respect it. Happy birthday to the ground. So true. Am I going back to the first church of Marika? Is that what's happening here? You look a little scary. Never mind. My mistake. You look a little sussy. Twin blades, machine gun jubblies. I gotta watch Breaking Bad again, man. I don't get any of the Breaking Bad memes except, Jesse, what the hell are you talking about? You see that rock over there? You can climb it? I'm actually insane. I'm probably one of the best to ever do this, okay? Now, this is a tricky jump, okay? You gotta do this. Hold. Hold, okay, now we're, we're going around. 
How many runes we got? 27,000. I sleep. You ever see Free Solo? This is an issue. <laughs> oh! Bring me Thanos! All right, I don't know what we were doing there. Just just being honest. Let's go, oh, man, I get the map, though. I get that map, man. Gotta get that map, gotta get that You guys ever see the um, Sesame Street episode where Childish Gambino does a parody of uh, LMFAO called LMNOP? This is a good one. My daughter was transfixed this morning when she watched it. It's the funniest thing she'd ever seen, man. Oh, rune farming? Golden rune 7? Dude, this is a golden rune 12 area. Don't be hitting me with those 7s, like insulting me like I didn't just kill an ice dragon. Ever jail? I was just thinking it had been a while since we fought a good boss. The Lord Contender. Hold on. Make sure you get the nearby statue of Marika. 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 Any I users in the chat? You already got it. Okay. Good. Good news. I can't believe I thought I was going to make progress today. Round table night Vika. You seem insanely weak. Are you like a lore boss? Like you were like the king's uh, butler or something like that? Is that what's happening here? I gotta admit, I got baited pretty hard there. Bro, I'm mad. I'm mad. Why was the dragon so hard? And then every other sign in this area just points to this being, like, a basic area for, for basic enemies that are not even good at all. That would have killed you, man. That would- you would have been lethal. Owns. I'm owns. I'm owns. I'm the owns. What are you gonna do? Use your flask. You know you want to use your flask. Go ahead. Oh, it's out of sips. Hold on. He's kind of strong. He's actually kind of strong sometimes. You're lucky you have superior range. Otherwise, you'd be cut, man. 100% when this guy dies, he says something like, Forgive me, Master Wayne. Absolutely, there's not a, a single doubt in my mind. Nothing? No, he didn't go, you, Leo. Fingerprint helm. Fingerprints? Mm, no, I don't think I will. They cut his voice line. Originally, that was supposed to be Anya Taylor-Joy was supposed to voice that character. She got cut from the movie. And now two bozos from Illinois are suing the production company. Wait, that wasn't Anya Taylor-Joy. That was um, Ana de Armas. Looking forward to Survivor tonight. Can I answer your question with a bit of music? Oh, we, oh, we, oh, we, oh, we, I, ah, he, he, oh, we, oh, we, ah, ah, and they, there's like a lot of instruments that come in there. I chose to take like a horn for some reason. I, I mean, I think the drums play the melody during that part. I am, I am interested. Hey, uh, VIP Daniel. Funniest moment in Survivor history, maybe, when they, they all chose to do the triangle puzzle. And then the incredibly strong seven foot tall hunk said, he looked at the puzzle for like 10 minutes and then said, I'm getting 11 triangles. 
I got up to 11. And then the, the lady was like, I'm already at 37. That was so good. That shit was incredible. I don't I I learned my lesson from last season. Like last season was the the first uh survivor I had watched in some time. And I after episode 1, I was like I love this person, I hate this person. And then like the next episode, I was like what the hell? That person I hated, I love him now. You know, and it just like that happened over the course of essentially the entire season. So I haven't really picked like a favorite yet. Um, but I did, I like the lady who solved the triangle puzzle. I forget what team she's on. She's a designer by trade. Plain Guardian. I forgot her name, not because she's a woman. I forgot her name because they introduced 16 strangers on one episode. It's hard to remember. I like Jenny. Yeah, yeah, Jenny. Jenny's... I just met Jenny, but if anything happened to her, I would kill everybody in this room and then myself. But if on the next episode she does something fucked up, I renounce what I just said. People made that exact meme for Marianne. Marianne, she's a character for sure. You can tell she made an impact in the first episode because I remember her name. Trying to think who else. It's like, I want to dislike the hunk because he's such a hunk. But I don't think that's fair. I think the only reason... Like, I just feel like something is amiss. This is not about their physical attractiveness. It's about their physical stature. Why is there only one hunk? Like, there should be one hunk per team when they're doing so many physical challenges. But there's only... Like, one guy who is like a... He's from the Globo Gym Dodgeball team. I feel like that gives him such a huge advantage in all the in all the physical competitions. Like, I know how this sounds, but like, there's one team has literally Thor on it, and then, you're not done in there? Okay, sorry. And then one team had two guys who weighed a combined total of like 220 pounds. Is I'm not knocking that, but when you gotta push a concrete boat for 250 meters up a slope, like, it just seems a little unfair. I'm not saying they should have packed on 100 pounds of muscle before they came on Survivor, because that's like a lifetime order, right? But ladder, thank you, thank you. <laughs> if I were a ladder, where would I be? Near the entrance, of course, of course. <laughs> ladder near the entrance, of course. On the ground uh, near the bushes, yeah, okay. Near the, entr near the entrance, a ladder! Let's go. Thank you. What's the theme of this year's Survivor? I think much like last season, it's like, we're back. Oh, and also having 100,000 twists, yes. And every, especially early, every episode uh, being like, hey, five of you get on this boat right now and then walk up a big uh, cliff and then at the top play Prisoner's Dilemma. Get to the top, people talk a large piece of parchment and then uh, play Prisoner's Dilemma. People talk, people talk. It's a fun show, though. Still not done. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Thank you. I, it's not that I'm mad at you. I'm mad at myself for my detail-oriented non-ness. It's, it's not your fault. Did Prisoner's Dilemma actually affect anything last season? Well... 
There was a Monty Hall situation where the person played the Monty Hall problem on suboptimally, but was unpunished for it, which I thought was a, a fun outcome. Um, I'm trying, I think one person, I think the, a, a gamer named uh, Sydney got totally screwed by a, by a twist that led to her being blindsided in a way where there's no way she could have reasonably uh, expected to be blindsided. Chef Guardian? Argonanthi? Argonthi? Holy cow! Laurentius? Master Chef. Master Chief? One-Eyed Shield. I uh, call your One-Eyed Shield and I raise you. Uh, I'm about to summon a purple-headed warrior. <laughs> what, minus two? Come on. Giant's prayer book. We out here, right? Now we're done. We're at the top of a tower. I don't know why I would platform down here. Come on. Just seems humorous. You still gotta find God? I'm working on it, okay? I, I just had to let me think for a second. I gotta get my bearings back. Owned. I can't believe you lived. I can. So item blind. <laughs> oh, man. You gotta, oh, that's right, keep moving towards Lord Stanley. I'm happy to report, by the way, so many, so many ignorant New Jersey Devils fans came into chat yesterday. You guys are screwed. Canucks are screwed. I said, there's no doubt in my mind. As long as we're playing Thatcher Demko, we're not gonna win every game. That's an unreasonable expectation, but we at least got a chance. Sorry, get owned. Yeah, sure, Jack Hughes got like five points, whatever. We won in regulation. Get out of here. Smo? Smo confirmed. What the heck? This one's strong too. Ah, never mind. And Vegas has lost five in a row. We love this for us. Oh, come on. Prodigious size alone is not enough to dissuade the, the pointed blade. I'm not shit-talking the Devils, okay? It was the Devils fans who were shit-talking us. Because they beat us last time when we had Yaroslav Halak in net. I'm telling you. When we have Halak in net, that is a game that our coach has basically just been like, it's worth losing this one so that Thatcher Demko doesn't literally die. You just accept it. You look at who's playing in goal. If if Bruce Boudreau has given a shoulder tap to Yaroslav Halak, you just say, okay, we're going to lose this one. Don't watch tonight. Wait for, uh, wait for the next game where Demko's starting and then watch that one. Demko might get MVP if we make the playoffs. I don't know, man. I feel like... Uh, I feel like Matthews probably has the the hard trophy lined up this year. I I I think the best we can hope for for Canucks individual awards this year. I think it's certainly possible but not guaranteed that uh, Demko could get nominated for the Vesna. But I overrate him because he's my goalie and our defense is pure ass. Shesterkin 
is going to win the Vesna, almost certainly. Put me in, coach. But but Demko getting a nomination, I think, would be would be sick. I would accept that. Hockey talk. Hockey talk people arrive. Let's go. I thought you were gonna say people leave. Bless you. Grace. Map. Help. As a Sharks fan, I got to keep my head down. Just listen. Rough time to be a Sharks fan, for sure. Map of the Giants. Look at that. Hey. Whoa, hold on. What the heck is this? Radon? Radon 2.0? Your voice sounds better. Oh, thank you for asking or uh, for saying that. I think uh, I think I was I got sick multiple times American Thanksgiving to today or well, like a week ago. But I was always at an ambient level of sickness that whole time and then just like sort of had periods of like being more acutely affected. I actually feel good, man. I feel like I finally purged whatever, like, chronic rhinovirus was chilling in my nasal cavity for, like, six months. I'm feeling solid. Guardian ape. You're nothing. You're actually ass. He fell down. Can you believe this? That one goes out to the guy two and a half hours ago who said, why don't you just do the crit when they fall down? You think I forgot? What the hell? I shouldn't be seeing this. I, it's, they're in love. I don't really like fighting you, but if I could do that, I'll take it. What a shot. The rare double hit. Check this out. Write this down. You got to do the occasional Man of La Mancha. Oh, baby, it's the mother load. Somewhere, Quentin Tarantino just went from six to midnight. Okay, what do you got for me up here? Let's see. This is what it's all about. Ah, giant butthole. Honestly, the fact that this message only has one appraisal is actually criminal. This is like being the first person in the world to see Parasite. You're like, I, I know I'm on the cusp of greatness here. I'm on the cutting edge of, of good taste. Now, I should probably visit this statue. Statues are pretty pog. Why not? I mean, is that even a marker? I feel like that's just a giant blue light. Go up instead? But, with, but the statue with the blue light. The blue light statue. There's a statue with the blue light, man. That's one of your waypoints? No, look, it's a dude holding a sword, like a lightsaber. And there's a door. That might be where I get my kyber crystal. I'm going in, man. I'm going in. We'll just ride our horse back up here. Oh no. Ah! 
I should have double jumped before the bottom. Yo, Chibli, Chibli, while you're here, while you're here, Chibli. Level, level your weapon up, okay? And level your HP. And then, like I told you in the Discord, Dark Souls is gonna go from eight to a, or uh, Elden Ring is gonna go from an eight to a ten. You won't need to stall anymore. You won't need to be like, I'm gonna spend two hours farming for like Haute Couture, Chanel, 1997 runway pieces. I'm telling you. You're already using summons, so I know you're not worried about, uh, you know, resin of any sort. Level your level your HP, level your weapons, and you will have a substantially superior time in the game. As someone who was in the same boat myself, I was like, maybe I suck at this game, maybe it's ass. Then I leveled um, my HP 20 times, and I leveled my weapon up completely. And I said, wait a minute, this is the best game ever made. Okay. I don't have a horse. I'm not able to use my horse. My horse died. Oh. Okina! Oh, we used to be friends. I know your ass anyway. Because you didn't do shit on the Radon fight. You were like pure garbage. What are you going to do? Flask? Good one. Go ahead, Flask. You know it's coming. Incredible bait. I can't even be mad. You input reader. Confirmed input reader. Whatever, get owned. You couldn't possibly predict my moves. Rivers of blood. And the Okina mask. I gotta be honest. So many people must have made this joke, but like... There's too much shit on me! What the hell? I can't breathe! The chin kills! The chin kills? Look at this. That's actually Carl Havoc. I don't want to be around anymore. I'm keeping it on. Carmine Legazzo. We did way too much. I'm stealing my drip. <laughs> it's a great mask. Uh, oh, I'm not even close. But, um, excuse me, I gotta make my flasks better. I gotta wear that and then just go nude into all my summons. And just look like you're summoning like Iggy Pop to kill the boss for you. But I'm probably, like, too high level at this point to get summoned for fucking anything. I don't have five golden seeds. That's okay. Talk to Melina? Is she here? Melina! Praise the vigor? Gross. Praise the butthole? Yeah, the summoning range, I looked at the formula. I mean the formula. I looked at the formula on the Elden Ring wiki, okay? I, I debased myself to that extent. It's like your, your minimum level to be summoned, that can summon you, I should say, is like your level times 0.9 plus 15 or something like, or maybe like minus 10. And then on the other end, it's like your level times 1.1 plus 10 or something like that. So like, I feel like if you're level 100, you can basically be summoned in a range of like 80. Like you can be summoned from like by people that are 60 to 140, which is actually pretty generous, I think. But I will say, I went to, um, two nights ago, when I was at Margot, 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 hello, 
Torbjorn. Uh, I, uh... I was getting summoned every two seconds. Last night, you know, like 20 levels later, I was getting destroyed. Sorry? Oh, no problem. Yo, mom said we can stream 10 more minutes. Let's go! You're broken. You're over. Chibli, this is what this is what you wanted. You wanted longer streams so that you don't get screwed by daylight savings. Oh no. Me after Chipotle. Uh-huh. What the heck? I'm okay. Minus two? I mean, I feel like you gotta put some respect on my name for, like, the fact that I'm steamrolling this huge dude right here. Does have a bit of a telegraph attached to him. And then... Rev it up. No blood? Confirm no blood? Strong move. Don't freeze me, you piece. I haven't even had my Diet Coke yet. What are you doing? Oh! Strong move. The ball? I don't fear the ball. Always bait it. Look, he's putting out his own fire. Sad. No! Uh-oh. I thought I, I thought it was gonna be the easiest fight of all time. Let me guys, now he's gonna rip his cock off and a big fucking lizard's gonna come out and the lizard's gonna have a face on his Vaz deference. He looks so easy. Ah! Who throws a shoe? Here we go. All right, what's coming out of that thing? <laughs> Bush, get down! Have I ever talked about how I've... I honestly believe that the people that are in the Secret Service must be the most competent individuals at their job on planet Earth? Because we've had, like, four incredibly... Uh, divisive presidents in a row and the only thing that's really come out of it in terms of like threats to their health is George W. Bush had a shoe thrown at him. Two shoes, sorry, two shoes. Like those guys must be amazing. And he dodged them. Which regardless of your opinions on George W. Bush, is fucking gangster. Okay. Bad. Very bad. I should be dead. Yep. <laughs> I am dead. It would have been even more gangster if he caught one. There's no doubt about that. But I feel like a thrown shoe is a pretty hard thing to catch, you know? It's spinning. It's a bit of an irregular shape, so it doesn't, you know, track in your brain the same way that, like, a ball would or a frisbee or something like that. Right, I have to... I have to take the... the chain? Yes, that's correct. 
oddly placed center of mass sometimes. I'm surprised that, you know, given the way that security works, shouldn't you have to take off your shoes for the rest of your life to meet the president now? Like, just because one person tried to throw a shoe at George W. Bush, shouldn't we all have to take off our shoes if we want to shake Joe Biden's hand? That's how it works at the damn airport. Owns. Okay, what do you do? You fall over, right? You don't fall over. This is like Rushdown City. We could go zero flask on this guy. Would you shake Joe Biden's hand at the airport? This is not like a political thing at all. If I saw Joe Biden at the airport, I wouldn't even walk over and be like, I recognize you. Just cause like, it's like I know who he is, but like, so what? Like, just because you recognize somebody in public doesn't mean you, like, have to say hello. Like, there's been times where I've been recognized. People are like, are you Northern Lion? And I say yes. And then they clearly, like, don't know anything about what I've done in, like, the last six years. And, like, don't watch any of my content. I'm not ever mad about it, but I am like, you know, just because you know me doesn't mean you need to come up. You could just, you know, text your friend and be like, guess who I saw at the grocery store today? So I'm not going to do the same thing to Joe Biden. Like, I'm going to be like, whoa, you're the president. Can I get a photo? I'll just be like, I saw Joe Biden at the airport. What are we doing here? We're not getting hit by that is what we're not doing. I don't like when his health doesn't move. That seems bad. When I hit you, I think your health should move. That's a punish. There we go. Any enormous boss that crawls around on their hands and knees in souls, you hit them in the hands. It's like a... It's just Miyazaki's law. Come on. He's like a professional wrestler. Now that's a hit. Run now. I'll take it. You know who this guy reminds me of? Incineroar. Anybody else? No? I feel like he, he's kind of like Incineroar. He's got red hair. No, because I don't want this dude to F me in the A? What does that mean? You know Incineroar is a Pokemon, right? I think. Maybe it's a Muppet? What is this? No! I should have known! Great punish. That's AoE run for your life. Yo, it, that's bullshit. It got, you got stalled by the tree stump. I was doing so well. Just get in there. Get some damage in there. Meteors. Not meteors. Two balls.
I don't want to fight you on this rock. It's gonna... It's gonna fuck us up bigly. No! Let's go! I'm not crying, you're crying. I shouldn't be here. <laughs> I went in way too far. Oh no, he's exploding! That's a punishment though, though, dude. Dude, leveling endurance has helped me so much. Whenever you get in a situation you don't know what a boss is doing, just mash that button. The endurance button. Okay, that's a problem. No fire attacks, please. Yeah, that felt like I was gonna die. <laughs> Grab his dick and twist it. So true. I know your Diet Coke doesn't heal you, but if I died with a Diet Coke in my pocket, people would have spammed. Instead of spamming Diet Coke doesn't heal you, they would have just spammed died with a flask. So I figured I might as well uh, appease one brand of haters. I don't want to fight birds, man. I just want to get to my runes. You gonna beat this guy today? I would say there's a sensible chance. We probably have like two attempts. Maybe one attempt. a good idea. Don't forget to use your horse to punish faster. Good point. Hello. Now we get off the horse. This is the one, my insane pace. That's just pure greed. That is just insanity. This is why you get careful with the casino. Because if I was like, sure, one more attempt on the casino, and we died in five seconds. Honestly, people would have been like more aggressive about me betraying them than people were mad at Shan on the last season of Survivor. You know what I'm talking about? I'm helping people on the Godric fight, and holy shit, they're bad. Dude, it's... Uh, it is... It's a comical thing. I love when they watch the cutscene and then just get hit once. And die. No clue what you're talking about, but send it. I'll take that. Don't judge? Well, I do judge. Because, like... Why are you, and like, I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just judging. You can do whatever you want, but that doesn't mean you're free of judgment. Dying to plate forehead. That did not pancake me. Rumors of me being pancaked are greatly exaggerated. But who is summoning for their first attempt at the boss? Because that's the only time you see a cutscene. I can't understand, like... Like, summoning when you have trouble, for sure. But, like, the kind of person who just summons, like, as soon as they see a fog wall. I mean, I'm happy they exist, because they, uh... They get me more rune arcs, but... Just a little surprised. Okay, big fireball. We don't worry about big fireball. I'm 
Ant-Man. This is actually so much like Ant-Man getting inside of the Thanos uh, armor. You may remember from Avengers Endgame. Wait, inside of his butthole? It's been a while since I've seen it. Ah, oh, two of them! Go ahead, hit me. Just kidding, you wouldn't. No shot. No shot. Like your other foot has an exposed purple wound, I feel like it might do more damage. You pissed yet? You should be. If you're not mad, you're not really paying attention, buddy. Fuck you. <laughs> One more. <laughs> <clears throat> grade, 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 grade. Cassiono? I'm greedy because I got a bladder full of piss, okay? It's just, it's been five hours since I pissed. That's a, that's a long interval for me. It's probably my longest interval of the day, except for when I go to bed. Hey, Sinclair427, thanks for the gifted subscriptions, thank you. Just piss on the floor. I don't know why when you said that, I, I heard Bruno Mars. Just go piss on the floor. Classic song. One of the all-time greats. I do have it pinched off in there, but like it's, it's made it past like a couple of valves for sure. It's not at the tip yet. Like, it's not at the point where I have, like, a stomach ache. It's just at the point where I'm, like, at the next available opportunity I would like to go. It's breached, like, a couple of defenses. But it, has, it hasn't it has made it to the, to the glands. I would leave if that were the case. So owned. Where you going? I hate this fire attack. You know what you can do with this fire attack? Bait it on the horse and then just sprint away. Like it doesn't even come close. You're in trouble. Now you're in trouble again. You didn't even shoot your fire in the right direction. Oh wait, this is a different attack. Piss greed. <laughs> I got one more. I got one more. Throw the damn towel. Great emote. It's time for wild strikes. Nah, man. Nah. Nah. Hell nah. I just gotta learn when he goes down. We don't do the we don't do the pizza cutter, no matter how many style points you get. You just do jump attacks. It works every time. It is a lot of style points. Try hitting his eye on some attacks. Yeah, I'll work on it. He's about 100 feet tall. I'll do my best. Maybe I've, I've just got a growth spurt incoming. He does have a mustache on his belly. That's pretty sick. He kind of looks like Morgan Spurlock post Super Size Me. Good attack. Strong attack. Get broken. Continue to get broken. One more break. We 
get back in. Okay, then I still trust horse. He births a little fireball. We get the hell out of there. Oh, no. He's going to shoot a ball at me. Saved. I didn't even know you could do that more than once per fight. That's not a cantrip. Huge hit, though. Enormous hit. Is the AoE fire? Can trip or the repeat spells? Oh, yeah, I knew that. That's my bad. I probably made you think that I didn't know what I'm talking about. But actually, they made... The term Dungeon Master was originally used to describe me. I have not yet become a Dragon Master. Oh, come on! <laughs> Regression? Okay, Chad, don't lie to me. Twitch.tv slash lovely Momo, is she live yet? I feel like I hear the television outside, which means probably not. Which means I can fight the fire goblin, giant, whatever. Goblin mode? What's the difference between a goblin and a, uh, an orc? I don't, is it like a, a one foot height difference or something? Goblins love um, treasure, is that correct? And orcs just love violence? Is it a personality thing? Orcs are birds from those weird pods. Bro, you so cringe. That's the Urukai, okay? It's a combination of orc DNA and man DNA concocted by the bad wizard uh, Saruman in Isengard, okay? That's not an orc. The orc is a naturally occurring species. You don't need a laboratory or a birthing pod. Unless you're that bastard Peter Jackson. Okay, now we just slice you. Little light on the green, don't get me wrong, but I'm, I'll take any damage I can get. Peter Jackson is the one who made the... He retconned it? Really? Urukai were just strong orcs in the books? I read the books, but I was legit 13 years old. It's been a long time. I don't Diet Coke yet, okay? I pop Diet Coke for phase two. It just, like, when I pop a Diet Coke, it just gets me so fucking amped. You gotta deploy it properly. Right, good stop, good stop. I pop a Diet Coke before every job interview. Look, I have a lot of controversial opinions on health. At least I state them as opinions and not facts. But I honestly think a 64 ounce Coke Zero from McDonald's is good for you. Not a Coke, but a Coke Zero, yes. I always feel so much better after I drink a large Coke Zero. Two of them would probably kill you. One of them, actually, it's like a mood booster and a performance enhancing drug all in one. Phase two, baby. Give me some of that aspartame. What the hell is this? No, it's not the caffeine. It's like the 
It's the sweetener, I think. It's like l drinking a lot of liquid to undehydrate yourself plus sweetener. Oh no. I'm sipping, I don't care. We needed the support. Smart, smart play. Undehydrate. I'm telling you, they should make a better word for it. Oh, what the heck? I'm in outer space? Two flasks. That's pretty bad. But this is pretty good. Run. What's next? No long range attacks, please. I'm gonna break your stupid anklet, man. Good shot, good shot, good shooting. Nothing but respect. Oh, I thought we were hitting the eyeball there. What's this? Open wounds? Open wounds? I saw yellow on his, uh, on his HP bar. That's a new one. While you're there, give him another one. Big miss. Two balls. Wow, so clever. So creative. Meteors? Is Meteors next? What's happening? So saved. I'm up against a rock! Invisible rock! She's still not live? Alright, one more. I'm happy to report the, that the piss has recessed. I think some of it has actually become reabsorbed in my body. Which is good, that's what you're supposed to do. There's a closer grace. I'm not worried about it, because this is the last time we're gonna die here. Piss retention. <laughs> it's good for you, because it means that there was still some water in that that your body can use. I got so much green. This is terrible news for you. I still got green. I still got green. Enormous. Now, if we could just repeat that one time, I would be thrilled. Sure, I'll run through, like, some grass that's on fire. I mean, this dude's cold anyway, right? He's called the fire giant, but he lives in the snow. A little bit messed up, but whatever, you know. The world don't move to the beat of just one drum. Good time for a sip. Mm, a little debate on that one. Beautiful play. Beautiful play. This is where you gotta be a little aggro. Meteors! I forgot about my mask! What's this? 
AOE fire. Nothing. That was nothing? You did nothing? Oh, two, two balls? What are you, a joke from the end of an Austin Powers movie? I knew that was coming. That's fine. We, we tank those sometimes. Kate's live. Okay, this is the actual, honest to goodness, final attempt. He's out of here. I literally, my, my PlayStation triggered. Just went off by itself because it touched the desk. Holy cow. I'm simping. This is your big window. Just get out. Then get in again. Bleed him! He's so... He's asking you to bleed him. He's basically begging to be bled. I mean, blade. Okay, we get hit by that every time. I've, I've come to embrace it. I don't know what I would do if we didn't get hit by that now. I don't know what that attack is. I think that was our window. Oh, there's balls. A little scary. Give me two. Give me two. I'm ready. Three sips remain. I thought for once, that's how naive I was. I thought we had it. Alright, you got me. We'll get him tomorrow. Probably.